right, here is another Snarl for the collection. This is Planet X's Zemenis, uh, their version of Snarl, as you can see, the Stegosaur from Fall of Cybertron, uh, the aesthetic they're going for with these, this line. Um, and it's a cool-looking Stegosaur. He's nice and long. He's got these really great translucent uh, back plates, long spikes. Um, a little, you, you do want to exercise a little care around these things. They don't seem super fragile. But uh, it is translucent plastic, and not. And it's not even just the translucentness. A lot of these, as you can see, are very thin. So when you're transforming it, you want to make sure uh, not to grab it in the wrong spot. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty cool. And he's got standard articulation for a dinosaur. He's got the legs back here, knees, uh, some of the feet. He's got a actually got a ball joint here in the leg, as well as a hinge, and then articulation down here at the paw. So you've got uh, some decent articulation there in the legs, as well as a hinge up here where it attaches to the body. Um, his head can look up and down a little bit, and his jaw does open. Um, it doesn't move side to side, really. But uh, the, but there it is. The tail doesn't articulate at all, uh, but uh, it's a pretty cool looking tail with all the spikes and the, and the blades. Uh, the, uh, these, the, the, at least these panels right here, and these panels here in the front uh, do have some hinge on the end right here just for transformation, the way the whole thing collapses up. Uh, everything else is fixed. Um, the, the one minor issue on mine is this this one right here, this panel on his back plate. Uh, you can see it's kind of loose. Um, the, the pin doesn't quite go all the way in, so it's a little loose on this side. Easy enough to fix. Um, I'm not super concerned about it, but uh, like I said, this one, this, one, this one by itself is just a little wobbly. I don't know why I said this one three times. I'm just kind of blah, 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 blah tonight. Um, so in the box, you get Samantha himself. You get two swords and two of these uh, these cannon from the game. I can't remember which one this one was called. I'm sure somebody will point it out in the comments. And thank you in advance if uh, you do know the name of it. I don't remember all the names of all the weapons from the video game itself. <laughs> I know there were like null rays and fusion rifles. Or, uh, I remember there were null rays. <laughs> but yeah, I don't remember all the... Uh, all the, all the specific weapons, but you get two of those as well. You also get a little baggie full of these little screw hole cover bits that we've seen with uh, several of the other dinosaurs. Um, I haven't put these on yet. I'll probably do that later, but it's, it's just a little thing to cover up some screw holes and, you know, give it a little bit more cohesive look so you don't see all those screw holes, which is what a screw hole cover should do. A little bio card. I also the bag for the instructions uh, with all of his rank. And then, of course, the instruction sheet. Um, well, since we is the third in their series and the fourth technical, technically fall Cybertron done about we've had released. Oh, of course, when I try to pick you up, I knock you all apart. Uh, we'll do some comparisons here. Here is with Neptune. Uh, we'll go ahead and put uh, Kalis here on the back of Neptune. Balance him up there. Come on, you can stand. I know you did it. You did it earlier. Come on. There we go. And of course, then uh, the Hasbro. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna back up uh, the Hasbro Falls Cybertron Grimlock. Maybe we can move these to the side a little bit. Oh no! All the way off the edge. Well, let me get him. Yeah, I knew that was a possibility of happening. So we'll just go ahead and put him down here in front. Let me fold his wings in so he's not blocking as much. And there's Kalis. So let me back up a little bit and we'll get all of them in the shot. They look decent together. Like I said, Grimlock's really the standout. And the more of these that get released, the more uh, Grimlock really kind of sticks out. So it'll be nice that they've been, I'm glad they've announced their Vulcan, which is their, uh, their version of Fall Cybertron Grimlock. So we'll get a. Uh, We'll get a version of him in the sturdy, nice sturdy plastic and probably a little better designed to fit with these guys from Planet X. Later on later on this year, I think, is the plan, so looking forward to that. <clears throat> Alright, so let's take him to robot mode now. Um, so we start off, I'm trying to remember where I want to start here. Kind of lift these up. Now, and that's, that's one of my other complaints about this thing. These things come down here for dinosaur mode. And you can see there's a slot there, and there's a tab here, but uh, just not 
want to tab on at all like even with some pressure and i'm afraid to use too much pressure because you kind of got to hold them like this to really apply pressure and i'm afraid that you know you'd snap these things but like those are supposed to tab on and they just do not um they, they stay in place just fine but it'd be nice if those kind of pushed on a little bit more securely so lift those up and then take the front part and unpeg it it's pegged in right here the gray piece pegs into this uh red part on the back so you kind of pull this down pull this down over here um, yeah there we go get those out split the legs or well split the head here you want to be careful again because you don't want to just go in here and, and pull like this because of these fins so you kind of want to get your thumb in and split it and the legs come down and around this chest piece here To bring them down like that and the knees uh we're, we're kind of ratchet you extend the ratchet and then this piece comes up and joins together over here to form the knee pad i'll show you that over here again i don't know how clear that was uh, so yeah so just extend the knee ratchet all the way up rotate this panel up and then uh, plug it onto this piece right here to form the knee pad Lift that up, turn the whole waist around here, and then rotate the leg. Just like that. And then this, the, this leg here, you can see the hinge there, this comes up and around. It actually kind of folds up into the body itself. in around like this and then you use this joint right here it's gonna be his robot mode foot and you can see this comes around and pegs into here to the side of the leg like that there you go there's his robot mode foot that pegs in there and then the head just folds up and pegs onto the side of the leg there just like that I, I, I like how they make the uh front dinosaur leg become the robot mode foot. It's more than just folding the robot leg inside to form a heel, like on some of the other ones. It actually forms, just part of the leg forms the foot, which I think is kind of cool. So open that up. Bring this whole thing down and around and in. Put it together, form the foot, and then form the head. Now just fold this up and plug it in. I'm being a little quiet, I should probably talk a little louder. So bring those legs down like that. Uh, you can see his head hiding in there. But first, you want to come back here and again, carefully split the tail because there's all these thin spikes. And also, there's a couple pegs on each side here, here and here, that peg onto this middle middle piece. You can see the peg hole right there. Uh, so you want to be careful about that. You want to, you want to get it out of there without breaking the peg or snapping the uh, snapping the, the plates on the back, which can be a little tricky. There we go. So you get those out like that. This whole piece comes up and rotates down. Uh, this piece you can see on an armature comes up and plugs in up here between the higher plates. The tail piece comes out uh, and folds up into the back like this. Uh, it came out a little further than that, but this comes down over it. And this brings the head up. You don't have to turn the head around, I did. But uh, you see that piece comes all the way up like that. And then the chest piece, you rotate it on here like this, and then collapse that arm into the body. And then this plugs in right there on the front. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Well, no. Now this is supposed to come up like this, but these should come out further. Oh, you know what? It's right there. That fits through the grooves. Well, now I had this all working earlier, and now I don't know. Oh, right, right, right. Flip it over like that. There we go. 
that brings that up and then this whole piece folds down in between it and pegs on there's a little peg there pegs on securely right there and then here so you, once you get them get them standing here all right let's come up and get, get a little higher up here on the top these pieces fold in and back on themselves like that in and then back there's a little peg that'll peg in right there uh, these little panels right here flip out straight And everything just kind of sits there on its back like that. And then the shoulders come up like that. And then you rotate his arms and fold his fist out. And then this kind of the foot kind of comes down and forms like a, a palm or I guess back of the hand guard. Come here, fist. There we go. And there he is in robot mode. And it's snarl. He's got a snarl head. He's got, oh, this should go under there. There we go. He's got a snarl tail wings. He's got his snarl plates on the back. He's got his snarl plates on the knees. He's got actual feet. He's pretty cool. Like, again, you know I'm a big snarl fan. If you've seen, if you follow my Twitter at all, you've seen the snarl shelf that's got like, Seven or eight snarls on it right now? I think seven. Uh, I need to find my world's smallest snarl and put him up there too. But, uh, but yeah, nice, big, powerful silhouette. Um, not super huge because, you know, he's, he's snarl, but good, solid figure. I love the design. I like I like the way the chest is set up. I like that uh, he's got all this. Again, I wish this plate were a little tighter, but we'll fix that. We'll fix it in post. Now, I guess you can bring those down a little bit further than that, too. Get those out of the way of his head. So, yeah, and he can hold any of his weapons. He can hold the guns. Uh, his wrists don't swivel, but uh, his fingers his fingers here are all one piece, but they do articulate. You can open up his hand a little bit. But he can hold his pistol or his cannon. He can hold his sword. He can dodge a wrench. He can dodge a ball. So, yeah, there he is all armed up. And of course, as cool as he looks, he really looks cool when you throw in the gang. So let's bring in Kalis. Let's bring in Neptune. And of course, we'll bring in the Hasbro Grimlock just to have him in there. Bring his arm down a little bit so we can get Grimlock in a little bit. Just to show him all as a group. Again, Vulcan's coming. I'm very much looking forward to their Vulcan. But that's a pretty fine looking group right there. So once Quiniris comes out, or Quiniris, uh, their version of Slag, we will have uh, we'll have at least all five of them from Fall of Cybertron with the Hasbro Grimlock as a substitute. Um, and we'll get, obviously we'll get Vulcan later on in the year, which will be the same quality and, and match these guys, I think, a little better. And I, I'm really looking forward to that, to have all five of the Fall of Cybertron Dinobots out and available as a group. So articulation, um, he's got, like I said, the wings move a little bit. Uh, the back piece is supposed to stay pegged in all together like that. Um, his head does turn. It's not on a ball joint. I don't think, oh, actually it is on a ball joint, but the sculpt limits it a little bit. Um, but it can turn side to side. Um, he's got universal shoulders. Uh, got a bicep swivel, a little tight bicep swivel there. Uh, hinge there. Again, no wrist swivel, but he does have the fingers. Um, he does have a waist swivel. He's got uh, universal hips here. You can hear him ratchet a little bit there. Thigh swivel. He's got the dual hinge knees, uh, although that mostly that other hinge is used for transformation. And he's got a ball joint here at the ankle, as well as the posability hinge here at the toe, uh, mostly for transformation to turn him into the dino leg. But he's nice. He's big. He's impressive. He's another fine addition to my Snarl collection. And uh, like I said, really looking for the last two to come out. Loving what we've gotten so far from these guys. But there it is. There is Planet X's Samantis.